Hello, everybody. Hi, hi, hi. I'm doing a quick live feed at Boogie Time. You know why? Because it's Thursday and I'm here. Um, I just wanted to uh, first off say hi to everybody. And um, I, get, I, get, I get asked this all the time with Mighty's Rescue. Why don't you do cats? Why don't you do cats? I do cats. And guess what? They don't get adopted. I have this one right here. Meet Gizmo. Wait, is this? No, this is not Gizmo. Yeah, it is Gizmo. Chew. Who's this? This is Gizmo, right? It's Gizmo. That's Sakura. Oh, Sakura. Here's Sakura, who I've had over a year. Here's Gizmo. Oh, this is Leia. This is Leia. And then I have Gizmo over there. And then I have... No, not Gizmo. Chewy and then Gizmo. Sorry. No interest. Zero interest. It's frustrating because I took on those kittens in hopes that I would find them a home. Because it's kittens. Who doesn't want kittens, right? They're still here. I'm networking. So if you guys please network this for me. Um, they're beautiful. And they get along. They all get along. This is Sakura. She's the cutest little thing. Look at this. Look at this. It's the cutest thing. And then Chewy and Leia, they came from Baja. Like, I, I, I was like, oh, for sure, they're gonna go because they're beautiful. Still here. Um, we still have some dogs. Who do we, who, well, Cornflake, but I have interest in Cornflake, Cornflake and Marie. We have Butterscotch, we got Whiskey, we got Dottie, oh my God, Dottie, who's a beagle. It was crazy, the situation, I'll, let, I'll fill you guys in. We got Goose, Puppy Pitbull, nine month old, adorable, Duchess. No interest in Duchess. I don't get it. She's beautiful, husky, beautiful, like, I mean, amazing. Huh? Oh, there's Leia. Leia, hi. Hi, girl. Yeah, they have free reign because we they've been here so long, and they get along. Teach the cats to dance. Hi, huh, you're funny. <laughs> so yeah, um, I want to um, I want to get these dogs and cats adopted. So. You know, and oh, there's Goose. Look at Goose. Goose, Goose, Goose. Goose threw up? Goose threw up again? Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're dealing with rescue dogs. Um, it's been a little frustrating, guys. Um, I know it's, it's the times are weird. Uh, uh, you know, gas, gas pricing and inflation and all this stuff. It's getting really hard for me. Ooh, it's getting really hard for me. The cat jumped a mile away. It's hilarious. Um, I'm not answering that phone call. It's getting really hard for me to take on more dogs because the way I keep the rescue going is from donations. Also grants, I'm working on that, trust me. I have a couple companies that I'm reaching out to to try to get, watch out. Um, you know, sorry, I, I, I see dogs and I see what's happening, I'm like, okay, let's stop that. Um, it's, um, it's, it's really hard for me to continue um, because of donations. We are low on food, we are low on donations. Um, medical is constant, uh, spay, neuter, shots. Some, you know, they get stressed out, they have stomach issues, you gotta take them to the vet. You know, it's, it's, um, it's constant. So, um, get homes, your rescues in the North, these take rescues from the South, maybe you can connect with some cat rescues. Prince fan, email me, rescue at mytay.com, because I, I mean, I want to continue to, yeah, be careful with Goose, he's older, please. Um, it's hard for me, um, with cats, I don't know why. I mean, I, I, and you know, and I've, I've had people, you don't do cats. I do cats, but they're here. They don't, they don't get adopted. I have a 20 year old cat in my house. You know why? Because he's too old to go here. She's too old to go here. And if I have no interest in these kittens, who's going to want a 20 year old cat that I rescued? You know? So I'm just kind of venting also because I feel like it. It's Thursday. Vent day. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, if you guys have, um, you know, even two dollars, I'll take it because we need it. It's, you know, I, I get calls daily for people who can't take care of their dog and they want to give them up. They want to surrender them. They want to send them to the animal foundation or to the shelters because they're killing, you know, they're killing 
these animals and they don't say that but I, I know people that work at these places and they do they do euthanize you know and it, it's hard for me to say yes because it's gonna cost me and I can't I can't do it by myself so um, doing a little little plea for you guys um, you know the holidays are coming up too it's gonna get crazy you know especially people buying dogs and they're like oh my god no and then February February is a great month so that's when they realize that they can't take care of the animal or that it was a bad idea to get it for their kid and then I get the calls so I'm um, I'm planning ahead and um, you know the holidays is a great time to donate and we have Giving Tuesday coming up um, which is a big 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 uh, day for for charities like us um, so just want to let you guys know that don't worry they will get adopted soon I hope Prince Maite <laughs> I hope so because every time I come here I mean they get along which is great because we had two of them the kittens somewhere else where's Tinkerbell Sorry, she's probably in the closet. do we have Tinkerbell too Tinkerbell was one where the guy was like either you take her or I'm gonna dump her somewhere she's I was like shy. oh she's mellow to herself. yeah she's the sweetest little thing eight-year-old cat beautiful this is goose and goose here's crazy goose 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 so yeah, you guys please help me. Um, if you guys, of course, you follow me because you're seeing my live. Um, repost and you know share with people. We do transport. Like I have somebody that wants cornflake. Cornflake is 18 years old, and we're gonna transport him to this beautiful house in Northern California. You know why? Because it's perfect. And I try not to do that. But if you are willing to drive, or you know, I don't do under the belly flights on dogs because. It stresses me out. <laughs> I do that one time, and that's when they're coming from Puerto Rico or the Dominican Republic, and that's the last time for me because I can't handle, you know, putting them in the bottom of a plane. It just stresses me out. But if you want to come and drive and fly with the dog, I'm cool with that. So let's get that going, and um, live feed. <laughs> let's get that going, and um, I'll do this more often. It's been crazy for me, but um, I know. Look at him. Hi, Papa. So cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the candles. Yeah, we have some candles coming. I'm doing a specific Mighty's Rescue one. I actually have some here for sale, you guys. They're kind of amazing. And zipper duder clothes that I've made for dogs. I have, like, you know, and then I'm making new candles today. I made a whole bunch. Um... You know, proceeds go to the rescue. Some 100% go, some don't. Um, but, you know, stay tuned for more. I'll be sharing more with you guys. Thank you, Crown7. Hey, hey. Who? Okay, cool. Yeah, let her in. All right, guys. I will talk to you guys soon. I don't know when you can. Not much. You know what, Jody Khan? Anything, anything helps. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm humbled and grateful for anything that you guys do. All right? I'll send you guys more messages and stay tuned. Bye.